In this video you will learn how to fight against the Schliemann defense. The Schliemann defense is a very complicated and aggressive variation of the Rui Lopez opening, which can catch you off guard if you don't know how to react. However, after watching this video you will know how to deal with this interesting defense and gain an advantage. After the moves e4. e5. White plays knight f3, developing his king's knight and attacking the e5 pawn. Black answers knight c6, developing the queen's knight and defending the e5 pawn. White plays bishop b5, entering the Rui Lopez opening. Now, black can play f5, which is the Schliemann defense. Black launches his side pawn into the attack and wants to capture the e4 pawn to destabilize the opponent's center. Now, the best option for white is knight c3, developing the queen's knight and defending the e4 pawn. In this way, white keeps his pawn in the center and maintains good control over the central squares. If black now plays knight f6, developing the king's knight and increasing the pressure on the e4 pawn. White can capture the f5 pawn. After e4, White can play knight h4, and a position similar to the king's gambit has been reached but with the colors reversed. White defends his f5 pawn, with the idea of keeping his extra pawn. The knight on h4 is perfectly safe, since if black removes his knight on f6, to attack the knight on h4 with his queen, then white can give check with the queen on the h5 square. White can attack in the center with d3 and is already much better off. After the move knight c3, black's best option is to capture the e4 pawn. After knight takes e4, black can play d5, occupying the center with his pawns and threatening to capture the enemy knight. It looks like black is going to take the initiative. But now white can play knight takes e5, removing an opponent's central pawn and increasing the pressure on the pinned knight on c6. Black plays d takes e4, capturing the white knight. White responds knight takes c6, regaining the piece and threatening to capture the opponent's queen. Now, of course, it is not possible to capture the knight, since it would follow bishop takes c6 check. After bishop d7, white plays queen h5 check. And after king e7, white plays queen e5 check. After bishop e6, White can capture the black rook. And after queen takes a8. White plays queen takes c7 check and is winning. After the move knight takes c6, black has two options, queen d5 or queen g5. In case of queen d5, white's best response is c4, defending the bishop and attacking the opponent's queen. And in case of queen g5, black attacks the white bishop and the g2 pawn. Now the best response for white is queen e2, defending the bishop and attacking the e4 pawn. In the following videos we will study master games with each of these variations.